All right, let's pray. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Okay. Thank you, Lord, for this morning. Lord, bless the children's time together. And I pray, Lord, that uh, they will take heed to the message this morning. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right, wait for me to say amen. Will you say amen? Okay, last week. Who remembers? What did we talk about last week? Here's a hint. <laughs> Who remembers? Sarah. Ways to sing to God, to Jesus. Very good. So you can sing to Jesus anywhere, can't you? Not just in church. Sing in the car, in the shower. God likes being sung to you, doesn't he? Okay, let's read the psalm together. You ready? Psalm chapter 100, verse 2. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Okay, with singing. All right, today we're going to talk about how to get wisdom. Wisdom. Who knows what wisdom is? Does anyone know who, what wisdom is? What's wisdom? It's better than knowledge. It's better than knowledge. What's the difference between knowledge and wisdom? Who knows what knowledge is? Knowledge. Yeah, that's right. Knowledge is like the first word. No, it's when you know something. Right? So what is wisdom? That's knowledge, you know? When you don't know something? No, no. So knowledge is when you know something, but wisdom is how you use that knowledge, isn't it? Okay, so you might know something, but you're not very wise about how you use that knowledge. That's what's the difference. Sit down. No, please. No, thank you. So we're talking about how to get wisdom. Look at our memory verse today from Proverbs chapter 1, verse 5. Noah, sit still, please. Okay. Thank you. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 5. Oh, there should be an S there. I accidentally read it. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 5. Look at this. A wise man will hear. Oh, see, wise wisdom. Somebody that knows how to use their knowledge, right? So what does a wise man what does a wise man do? He will hear. What does that mean? Listen. Are you guys listening this morning? He says a wise man here will hear. He's gonna listen and will increase learning. He's gonna learn something. So you can't learn when you're talking all the time and not listening. Right? When you listen, then you will learn something. It's saying here. So a wise man will hear and will increase learning. Look at this. And a man of understanding, this is another way to talk about a wise man, a man of understanding shall attain unto, what is this? Wise counsels. Wise counsel. What do you think wise counsels is? What do you think? Anyone have an idea? Wise counsel. Anyone heard of a counselor? What do you think, Simon? Oh, that's talking about a, a governing council. That's different. That's C-O-N-C-I-L. This one's C-O-U-N-S-E-L. It's very similar. Council is somebody that gives advice, isn't it? So somebody's a counselor, that's somebody that gives advice, gives knowledge. So it's saying here, a wise man is going to listen in increased learning, and a wise man, a man of understanding, he's going to learn from other people, isn't he? He knows that he doesn't know everything. Isn't that interesting? If you're a wise man, you think you know a lot. But you know, the more you know, the more you realize you don't know. <laughs> you know that? The more you know, the more you realize you don't know. So a wise man knows that. That's why he has to learn. All right, let's read it together. You ready? Proverbs chapter 1, verse 5. A wise man will hear and will increase learning, and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels. Right, so we want to be wise. We're going to learn from others. What are some examples of some places or some people that we can learn from? How we can get wisdom? What's one example? 
see if you guys guess some of the ones that I've got in here. In church, yes, very good. I got that one there. It's a good example. When you listen in church, that's a way you can increase learning. It's another one. Pray to God. Yeah, that's a good one. Hey, ask God for wisdom. Yeah, from James. He gives to all men liberally and afraideth not. That's one way to get wisdom as well. Right? You ask for God from God. What do you think? Yeah, but how do you learn the move? So maybe you can talk about your instructors, right? Right, your instructors at sports, or your teachers. Right, so you have teachers. Hey, if you're not listening, imagine if they're showing you how to do a move at jiu-jitsu and you're not listening. Are you going to increase learning if you're not hearing? No. What's another example? Well, right, last one. You have to do the good things, not the bad things. Yeah, that's, a good, that's, that's good. So the more you do the good thing, the more it's going to reinforce doing the right thing, the wise thing, rather than the wrong thing, isn't it? That's a good one too. Well, let me show you a few here. Here's uh, one. Did anyone talk about that? Sarah kind of touched on it a bit in church. Where's the first place we're going to get wisdom? What do you think? Bible. Yes. We're going to read God's Word, aren't we? Of course, this is the source of all wisdom. All right? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The Bible says. So that's where we're going to get our, all our source of wisdom. This is, our, this is where every wisdom in the world is based. It's got to start here, doesn't it? So anytime you get some wise counsel, it's got to be based on the Bible in some form or another. Where else can we get wisdom? What do you think? Very good, yeah. You can learn wisdom from mom, can't you? You listen to your mom, mom has some wisdom, especially if she's a Christian mom. Yeah, you can ask her about God, who knows here, maybe, they're, maybe it's not just talking about spiritual things, it might be a, maybe a school problem, you know, maybe she's asking how to spell a certain word or how to, you know, how to do some maths problem or something like that. I think mom would know the answer? I hope so. <laughs> if it's a more simple, simple maths problem, so you can learn from mum, can't you? What's another person you can learn from? What do you think, Simon? Your father. Yeah, you can learn from your father as well. Your father has a lot of good things to teach you. Yeah, maybe this kid, maybe he's teaching him that he's got a silly haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to tell him, look kid, you want to look respectable, be clean shaven, not this uh, mohawk looking thing. <laughs> you know, some young kids these days, they want to have all these fancy hairdos and you know, don't look as respectable as they could. All right, so your father is another place. Oh, see, Sarah got this one. All right, so in church, preacher, the Bible teacher. So you have different teachers in your life. The same when you come to church. You listen to the Bible. Sit down, please, Noah. Sit properly, Atticus. People teach, so that's another place you can get wisdom, aren't you? I've got one more for you. Oh, this one. What do you think? Calling your friends and talking to them. Yeah, that, that's one. Well, I got a different one here, but that's a good one. Yeah, you can talk to your friends about Jesus. What's another one? What do you think, Timothy? Calling people. Calling people and talking about it. Well, you're right, you can. I'm more focused on the age of this person. What do you think, Simon? Yeah, well, you can talk to people that are older than you. Often when you want to get wisdom, people that have lived longer than you they have more wisdom than people that have lived less time. So that's why like oftentimes somebody older than you can give you some wisdom about how to live, can't they? But we always have to make sure it comes back to... Bible. Bible, right? So we always check anytime we get wisdom, does it line up with God's Word? So we can get it from mom, dad, you can get it from church, people preaching the Bible. Okay, we can also learn from people older than us as well. Those people that are older than us have wisdom. That's how we can get wisdom. All right, so let's read our memory verse again. You ready? Proverbs chapter 1, verse 5. A wise man will hear and will increase learning, and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels. Are you going to be wise this morning? Yes. Hey, if you want to be wise, you can make sure you're listening, make sure you're learning. Always want to be learning, never too old to learn. 
All right, I hope you learned something this morning, if you were listening. All right, let's stand up. Girls have some games for you this morning, so I want to make sure you're paying attention, and let's uh, try our best. <laughs>